Let's build some PSA card submissions. So this is a bunch of my back stock. You know, I just usually just have cards and card savers ready to go for, to send a PSA. And I usually pre-check the cards. Anything I think that's like gem mint worthy, chuck it in a card saver or anything I want to grade in the immediate future. But everything got kind of overwhelming, you know, past few months. Put myself on the back burner for a lot of these cards. But we're back and we're going to grab out a whole bunch of these and actually have like an immediate two grade pile and I'll just pull a whole bunch off and probably grade like 200 a week at this point instead of sending like 5,000 in one month because I can only I'm only one man right and you're only one one man wrecking ball so I want to just grade a little bit at a time make sure I can process the work that I'm actually getting back because it doesn't really help you if you buy a whole bunch of stuff or let's just say grade a whole bunch of cards and you just have them sitting on the shelf not getting work done because you just have too much work to do so I'm going to build these Grading submissions, Raj Forest, Delta Species. So I'm, I'm just going to go through these cards, talk over the top of them, enjoy the video. If you like this kind of stuff, let me know. These are pretty much like some of my favorite stuff to do. It's it's not related to anything I'm buying or anything I'm kind of like selling or anything immediate. It's kind of just like going back and I'm doing this work anyway. So I might as well, you know, put some content out there for you guys and listen to me ramble and get a few reasons of why. I think some things are good. Maybe you can learn a little bit. Maybe you can use your knowledge to your advantage for your collections or for buying and selling or whatever you want to do. So we have, this looks like a non-holo bro, I guess. You guys know I have a lot of non-holo cards. Super happy to have them. I'm pretty much like a non-holo pioneer at this point. A bunch of people are messaging me and showing me like cards that they've graded for after watching my videos, you know, selling them and they're getting a little bit of profit they can use to like make their collections or inventories bigger. And that stuff's cool. There's room for everyone it's so much. I do like it a lot actually if people like, you know, this is going to sound like selfish or rude or whatever, but if you do something because you learned it directly from me and you message me and you give me some props, that's all I need. You know, I... It is, uh, I know a lot of people out there are like, you know, watching what I'm doing, trying to replicate a little bit, getting good information from it, and it's and it's better off for themselves. You don't have to thank me. I don't do it because they thank me. But if people do thank me, I'm not going to lie, it does feel good. So I think that's pretty human. That's pretty normal. So we've got a Lavatar there. Saw one of those recently. Lost Link cards are pretty popular. Oh. So I'm, this will be this will be a pretty long video. So strap yourselves in. I already recorded one box of these, but I'll do the last two boxes in the last video. I still have like so much cards like ungraded in boxes that I've sorted and I've tried to sort. I tried to stay on top of, but yeah, it's not. It really isn't easy. Like I think holding an inventory and holding, making things organized is something that I'm not that great at. I'm good at like processing work, but like. Doing everything, it's just really clash of the sky. As you can't, it's really, really time consuming. So you kind of have to like pick and choose your battles, I guess, and that's what I've done. I always prioritize the work that like makes, I guess, not makes money, but like gets me money back, so I can buy more cards immediately. So you could probably take that as like makes money, but I, my my main priority is like trying to buy as many cards as possible. So whatever helps me do that, I'm going to go path of least resistance to try and buy more cards. So this is just like L1. Soul Silver, Hard Gold, Best of XY, Lugia. Pretty nice card. I'm going to move these over to the wall. So er everything I'm pulling out is just like, I'm not going to touch it for the next like three months. I'm trying to find... I'm trying to get cards that I want to grade immediately out of these boxes just so I can get them in my next submissions. You know, this this is all like pretty long-term stuff. It's not like quick, easy flip, easy like easy money modern card that you sell and get like $10 for. This is like, you know, good inventory for my card store that's pretty hard to come across in like mint conditions, gem mint conditions. So I'm trying to how do I explain this? I'm trying to just... This is my good long-term stuff. Oh, Dragon. Dragonair Rulers of the Heavens. That's a really nice card to have. I've sold like four PSA 10s of that card and 
Whenever I list that card, it sells like instantly. I always kind of forget that it just sells instantly as well. I put it up for whatever price and people buy it. Like people message me and they say, do you have any more copies of that? And I don't, unfortunately, at that time. Usually it's just like a one and done. And uh, yeah, I can't just keep raising price, raising price. I sell that dragon air. I sold my last one for like 250. You know, I don't feel bad for selling it for 250. It's obviously a really good price, but at the same time, I put it to like 400 and it sells like yeah, there's only a certain amount of like profit margin that I'm like super comfortable with. I'm happy just to make, you know, whatever 250 off like the card plus the grading fee. I could put it up for 400. It might sell, but it's not the end of the world. If someone gets like a little bit of a deal or they feel like they got a deal because obviously I'm happy to, I'm making good stuff too. Just being honest, you know, grading has crazy high percentage returns. It also has crazy high percentage like losses or holding amounts because it's just so expensive. So what have we got? Some BW6 it looks like. Not really interested in any of these. Uh, some non-hollows. Oh man. I definitely should never have card saved all these cards. I don't know what was wrong with me. My hands must have been killing after I did all this. Oh, some more lost linkers. Um, probably do the Dragonair. Pretty nice one. Now, I'm not even submitting these cards immediately, too, so it's going to be like, you know, the next m month or so before, maybe even two months. I just need to get through my work first before I even think about... Because, you know, PSA is pumping stuff out in like a month now. It's not really that important to, like, get your submissions in super fast and be first. Team Magnus cards, so these, these are awesome. Move this camera a bit back, you guys are missing everything I'm doing. EX Battle Boost, great set. Add some of those in. Mm, Samurai, I sold an Oshawad yesterday, so a greater Samurai. Maybe the same person is looking for that card. Beedrill, Ammonite. Super happy that I'm able to have all these cards. Like I'm, I pushed for them crazy over the past year. I've got the amount that I'm pretty happy with. I'm always going to be looking for like these older cards, even black and white XY and like gem mint. But it's not easy. It is not easy. The the Japanese cards are in the spotlight, and you know even if not these cards in particular are going crazy, but You'll find that a rising tide raises all boats. Is that a saying? I think that's a saying. Some Charizard EXs. Oh, Sal, Sal Pikachu's. I'll grade some of those. Uh, Magi Magi Girls. Oh, the rest of these. These are my 25th anniversary. Or 20th anniversary Yu Gi Oh cards. I will grade a few of these. My SM51 Blue Eyes. These actually are, these cards aren't really bulk. Like this one's like 300,000 yen. This is 300,000 yen. This is 200, probably a million yen just in Yu Gi Oh cards, just in like these ones here, which is kind of nuts. But I'm not really, you know, I don't want to sell them that badly, but I want to see if I can get tens on them. And maybe I can sell them and buy more copies. And Yu Gi Oh cards, the Magic Magic Girl is probably the one that I sell a lot of. I spent a lot of money on these, so much money. Oh, but I ha I do get a few tens, and it has been working out. But I kind of bought like a little bit too many. But Yu-Gi-Oh is not something that I'm going to focus on, so it's just going to be a little part of the stack here. Two grade stack. Is this the? Yeah, it is. What do we got here? We got Psydux. Got a little bit more Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll chuck this over here. Just got a bunch of these back, so I'll, I'll do you go once I've gone through the submissions and figured everything out. Slowpoke's pretty funny. Yeah, requires a deck. Charizard GX is pretty cool. Alt Arts. What else is in here? Alt Arts, Lapras, 25th Mew, 
25th anniversary is so crazy what it's done. I should definitely not mix up all these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. What am I doing? I've already gone through those. Sorry, you guys are just watching me make mistakes. Some more modern Suicune V. Oop. From a deck opening. So what have we got here? We got, oh, we got some hollow cards. Ah, oh, these ones are all pretty good, but I'm just not interested at the moment. I've upgraded so many of those. I have to go through, see what I have, wait for some to sell. Grading and selling is a long game. It's no rush to go crazy. Bunch of black and white hollows. I'm pretty sure I went through all these and graded at least two of each. Another thing I need to just check through my stacks. Pretty cool leafy on card there. TV reporter, it looks like, or something like that. Some more L1 hollows. BWP promos. Meowth promo, maybe that would be good to chuck on. Oh, 11 minutes in, we've got the Hound Doom. Yeah, looking, looking, looking. I know I'm kind of breezing through these cards, but this left box is the most recent one I put together. So I, I do kind of know, like, I remember dealing with these just even on my last mission that I sent like a month and a half ago. So none of these really need to be dealt with immediately, it feels like. But what, how many of these do I have? Leafeon, Secret, well, this stuff I don't remember, that's for sure. I think everyone can kind of feel like that. If you've been doing this for a few years, you kind of get to the point where like you don't remember buying certain things. And Maybe I remember buying them, but it kind of rejogs your memory. I've got Snorlax character rares. Character rares have always worked pretty good for me. You know, they're not crazy. A few of them have blown up, but nothing too wild. And yeah, Pikachu character rares and Mimikyu character rares, like they've gone crazy recently. Kind of just like full out trainer reasons I got. But you know, Gala Friends has gone crazy recently. Some good Miracle of Dessert cards I've sold. Oh, this is pretty good. More EX Battle Boost. BW4 Flareon. Yeah, sold one of those. Ah, cute Slowpoke. Got, always got to have cute cards. Oh. Search for Mizuki. More Gala Friends. I mean, these are expensive now, aren't they? Aren't they like $200 each or something? Or just like... Yeah, it's not just bulk non hollows in. Most of my modern cards I have in boxes because I didn't really, I didn't feel like top loading them or card saving them. Because I kind of just got over storing cards as card savers. We got Shibuya's Pikachu. Some more. How many Psyduck's Miracle Dessert do they have? This just looks like Pokemon Go promos. Yeah, Charmander. This Charmander's good. So we got Charmanders, we got Bulbasaur, we got Squirtles. And I don't know what the hell these are. Oh, yep. So once upon a time, I bought 100 Mewtwo V Altars. I thought it would be pretty good. Probably one of my worst purchases to date, as there's a whole bunch of other things I could have bought at the same time, and they would have been much better, but they did a huge reprint of Pokemon Go right after I bought these, and I just kind of got destroyed. I don't know. I think there's 100 here, which is kind of nuts to think 100 of an Altar, but I do think Mewtwo is pretty good, and it'll go well for me. But I, I just got to be patient. Being patience is key. Time fixes everything. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you like stuff like this, let me know. I'm happy to show and it, it's not that big of a deal because I'm, I'm going to look at them anyway. I'm going to go through the cards anyway. So if I go through the cards on video and show you guys what I'm looking at, it's not that bad. And it, it, it gets you into my mind, gets you into the thought process. Because, you know, the people watching this, especially the people that come like 14 minutes, 30 seconds, all the way through the video, you guys deserve the like the little bits of information, the little bits of like how being a full-time or professional reseller, buyer, seller, collector kind of works. And it, even though this is organized or unorganized, I guess, it is like unorganized chaos. So most of the cards, you know, I think they're pretty good. 
get an idea. I'm, you know, this is long term stuff. Sometimes you can buy a card and you won't, we won't sell it for two years. But yeah, I think as long as you understand the basis of everything, and you know, I have all these cards because I bought cards with the intention to sell them and then try and buy back more. Like I've sold a bunch of Mew twenty fifth PSA tens, and that's why I have so many raw ones because every time I sell a ten go back and I buy two more raw ones and then I've done that over and over and over again like Magi Magi Girl sold like 50 of these graded like they're amazing you know I'm, I'm giving away my secrets I guess but I don't really care if you want to compete that's fine if you have a lower price than me people just get a better deal <laughs> whatever like <laughs> it really doesn't bother me as long as you give me my props and thanks and thank me it does work out for you but that, that does feel good so overall Pretty happy with the amount of cards. Now I've got a few more spare white boxes I can use for graded cards. Getting back into the swing of it. Thanks for watching. Sorry for walking around so much. If you like these videos, let me know. Uh, hit the dislike button. And don't subscribe. See you later.